If you've ever built a big project on the JVM, you may be familiar with its stop the world garbage collection. Java, and the, more importantly, the Java Virtual Machine, has one universal heap for shared objects. And the way garbage collection works is it needs to stop all of your threads all at once in order to garbage collect that most efficiently. This is not so good if your threads are doing actual useful work like serving customers and stuff like that. If you want to get away from that, check out Erlang and Elixir. They do garbage collection very differently. In the Erlang runtime system, aka the Beam, which underlies Erlang and Elixir, each process has its own heap and each process and that heap is garbage collected independently. One process may pause for garbage collection, but the whole beam runtime never does because each process just runs independently. And if they're short lived, they might not even ever garbage collect. It may just start up, do some stuff and then die and go away altogether. So there is no stop the world garbage collection in Erlang. And that's a really powerful thing when you have lots and lots of processes that need to be responsive to your users. In Java, you do have that. And it, you know there are different runtimes and different ways to configure the Java runtime, which I'll admit I'm not particularly familiar with, but it is something you have to keep in tension kind of, in that you have a global shared mutable state. So there are times when the Java needs to lock that state to work with it. There's also issues of if something crashes while holding a lock, you may be SOL. In Erlang and Elixir, you don't have that problem because there are no locks. Erlang has been built to be very robust under high load, high concurrency load, on multi-core, and under failure. And that is a very useful thing if your system handles lots of users, creating a high load, and you have possible failures, which systems do. That was a little bit about the difference between the Erlang runtime and the Java virtual machine. If you have any questions or comments, Please feel free to leave them in the comment box below. Please like and subscribe or share this video on social media. And if you'd like help getting your team up to speed with Erlang or Elixir, please give me a shout.